need some green fabric paint, some glitter, which is optional, but I'm gonna use some, a pencil, some scissors, some heart shapes, cardboard paper, I'm gonna use the back of an old cereal box, a white shirt, wax paper, and some tape. So I went ahead and placed the hearts in the shape of a three leaf clover, and now I'm gonna hold these hearts steady, and I'm gonna go ahead and start chasing around them. You could tape the hearts down, but I don't wanna do that because I'm lazy. <laughs> so I'm gonna just chase it all the way around. I have these hearts left over from um, Valentine's Day, so you can make your own hearts, but I thought these were perfect, so I went ahead and used these. So I already finished my hearts. Now I'm gonna go ahead and freehand a stem. It shouldn't be too hard. There we go. And now I'm gonna go ahead and cut my leaf. I have it cut out now, and the next step is to put this wax paper inside the shirt so that way the fabric paint doesn't seep through. So now I'm putting tape around the cutout so that way it doesn't move when I'm doing the painting. One last piece of tape, and now we're gonna place it on wherever you like. I'm gonna try to place it right here at an angle and press down on it. And that looks secure. I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. I pushed the shirt to the side and now we're gonna start making the paint. I'm gonna put the fabric paint in there. I'm gonna put quite a bit. And then, if you like, you can add some glitter to it. You don't have to, but I think it'll be really cute with some glitter. So I'm just gonna put some glitter in there. And then I'm gonna mix it up with the other end of my pencil. Not the eraser end, because you're gonna need the eraser end. So you're gonna mix it up, mix it up. We are mixing it up. So now I have it all mixed up. You can't really see the glitter, but it's there, trust me. Now it's time for the really fun part. Here's your paint, and you're gonna use the eraser end of your pencil. You're gonna dip it into your paint, and you're gonna start at the edge of the little leaf. And then you're gonna work your way out to make it look like it's fading. And you're gonna keep going. I like to do a, like a solid line around the leaf so you can do this and then fade out you see how it's fading out it's gonna look super cute when it's finished and you can see the glitter on here actually I don't know if the camera can pick it up but the glitter is showing on the shirt and I think it looks <gasps> beautiful Almost finished and it's coming out super, super, duper cute. So I'm all finished now and now I'm gonna wait for it to dry. So my shirt's all dry now and it came out super awesome. I love how the fading came out and the green outlining with the gold sparklies. I love it. The next crafty is gonna be this super awesome shamrock shape. It's super cute. It's hanging from the ceiling and imagine having a whole bunch of them hanging from your ceiling. Your house would be so ready for St. Patrick's Day. So let's get started. For the shamrock cards, here are the supplies you're gonna need. You're gonna need three different colors of cardstock. I picked green because of the shamrock color. A glue gun, some string, a stapler, and some scissors. For the first step, you're gonna have to cut each color of paper into one inch strips. So I'm gonna get started on that. Now I have nine pieces of each color cut out. And now what we're gonna do is kind of pick it up, line them all up together, because we're gonna cut them. So this one's gonna stay normal size. This one we're gonna cut an inch and a half shorter than this green one, than the dark green one. So about right here, inch and a half. And you're just gonna cut it off. Ooh, that means mess. <laughs> and then with this white one, you're gonna cut an inch shorter than the light green one. So kind of line them all up together. And Put it against your light green one. And we're gonna cut that an inch off. So I'm just gonna kind of like eye it. Put them together. That looks good. 
So now I'm gonna cut the white. So I have two colors of each strips and now we're gonna get started. What you're gonna do is just pick one up and lay it on top of the next one. And keep going. So I have this and I'm gonna lean this one right on that one and same thing all the way down. Now that I have them all together, I lined them up at the bottom and we're gonna put a staple there at the bottom. Just like this. Now that it's stapled, we're gonna get started on the fun part. You're gonna bring your loop down, just loop it like this, and then bring your next white one down. And you're just gonna keep a good hold of it down here because you don't want it to go anywhere. Then bring your next light green one down. And same thing with the other side. Get a good grip on it. And then the big green one, bring it down, hold it tight with your thumb, and your last one. And then it should look like this, and we're gonna put a staple right there in the middle. And be careful, because you don't want it to come loose. And it should look like that. I had planned to make a four leaf clover, but I think the three leaf clover looks better. So I'm gonna use a leftover strip of the dark green I'm going to fold it in half, and I'm, this is going to be the stem. Then I'm going to kind of bend it so it'll have like a nice little curvature to it. And then I'm going to super glue one side of it, and then put glue on the other side. And then we are going to put it on the middle heart, and we're just going to squeeze the super glue onto the bottom of this heart. But now it's time to connect our other two hearts. We're gonna put super glue at the bottom of it, a nice generous amount, don't be stingy. Okay, and then we are going to squeeze it down to the side and you're gonna hold it down until it dries a little bit. Then we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Put a nice generous amount of super glue right at the stem of your little hearts. A nice generous amount. And then you're gonna stick it on the other side. So it's as simple as that. It was super easy and look how great it looks. It looks like a super cute clover. And I have this little string here. This is optional. You don't have to hang it, but I got this pretty little string here. It's gold and white. And I'm just gonna put it around this around a loop of the clover. So if you wanted to hang it, you can. Last up, we're gonna make edible gold tokens. You'll need some cookies. I chose Oreos because those are my favorite. And then you're gonna need some edible color mist. So let's get started. Mm. These Oreos smell like the bomb. So we're gonna get a few cookies out, lay them out here. And we have our color mist. So let's start spraying. Oh, I'm nervous. Okay, go ahead and start. Ooh, they look pretty! I like this gold color. It looks cool. So I went ahead and sprayed it. I made sure not to spray it too close because the bottle says to keep it a distance away. So then I'm gonna start spraying the sides of them. Bringing in the Oreos, bringing in the Oreos. Oh yeah, that's looking cool. I don't want to touch them because I'm sure that the the gold spray will get on my fingers. <laughs> but I'm going to try spraying some more around it. And there we go. They're, they're starting to turn gold now. Let's go ahead and give these suckers another spray. Oh yeah. <laughs> spraying the Oreos, spraying the Oreos. Keep on spraying. I put some more here to spray as well. So let's wait on these. So I finished my golden tokens. They look awesome. I wish I had a like black pot because it'd be like a black pot full of gold tokens. But I don't have one so I gotta work with what I got here. But they look awesome on this cute plate. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make all this awesome stuff. My favorite was this St. Patrick's shirt. It's super cute and it was really fun to make. Don't forget to hit that like button. Happy St.